guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to share to you JBotton. The class JBotton is an implementation of a push button. This component has a label and generates an event when it's pressed. It can also include images. So what's an event? Event is a change in the state of an object. Let's say, for example, you press or let's say when you press the button or let's say you move it. Okay. Now in Java, we have what we call event handling. Event handling is a mechanism that controls the event and decides what should happen when the event occurs. This mechanism has a code in which known as the event handler. Okay. So in this example, we're going to create a frame and then includes a button. Then once we click the button, it should display the text hello world. Let's now go to our NetBeans here. Let's create our next class. So let's give it a name swing1c. Okay, finish. First thing is we need to import our library. So import java java dot aw dot event. Okay. So this library here will import the events such as action listener. Next is we're going to import Java X Java X that swing that aster. Okay. Next is let's have our oh sorry. Sub our public static void main. Okay. Let's have our frame J frame F J frame F is equals to new J frame. Let's have here button example. Next is let's create a text field. By the way, we're going to have here a text field. Okay. To do that, let's have here. Uh, J uh, text field okay text field is equals to new J text field text field next is let's uh, place the text field into our frame so uh, sorry it should be capitalized okay text field that set bounds set bounds let's say 50 50 120 and then let's say 20 next let's have our j button j button b is equals to new j button then we could have here a text Click me. Let's place it. So B dot set bounds fifty. Ah, sorry, fifty. Let's say one hundred. One hundred. Next is let's. So we already have the items here so we need to create now sort of a event event is the item that when the user clicks the when the user clicks the uh, button it should perform something okay now we have to set b that add action listener okay and then new action listener action listener okay then let's create a public void action perform 
action event then uh, text field that set text hello world okay let's add the button let's also add the text field then let's set the width set width set size sorry set size say um 400 by 400 then f that set default close operation j frame that exit on close f that set layout null and then f that set visible to true so here's our code so take note that the objective here is for us to uh, create a frame, place two objects, which is a button and a uh, text field. Once the user clicks the text field, it will automate, uh, rather the button, it will display the text hello world to our screen. Okay, let's uh, run our code. So here's the output of our program. So again, we have our frame. Then we have here our object. This is your text area or text field. This is your command button. So once the user clicks this one, it automatically triggers an event that when the user clicks this one, it would um, set the text to our text field to hello world so click me there you have hello world okay so here's an example of a button that uh, uh, that includes an action listener to execute an event okay so that's all for this video thank you for watching bye